today I'm going to show you how to crochet this halter top. I'm using a 5mm size hook and lion heart yarn. To start off, I'm creating a slip knot. How I create slip knots is by wrapping the yarn around my index finger, then holding it in place with my thumb. Grab the yarn that's connected to the yarn ball and put it through the hole, then pull. After my slip knot is created, I position my hook through the slip knot and begin to create a chain. In order to create a chain, you need to grab the yarn with the hook and pull it through the slip knot. Your hook will always be in a loop. To create the chain, you just continue this motion. Remember not to pull too tight, you need a loose chain because you're going to be crocheting through it later. You create the chain until it's long enough to wrap around your ribs. And after you've reached your desired length, the next step is to begin building on top of that chain that you created. And this is the way I do it. I wrap the yarn around the hook so it grabs it. Then, then I wedge the hook into the hole in the chain. Then I wrap the yarn around the hook again and bring it through the hole. Your hook should then have three loops. Then you just pull the first loop through all the other loops, like so. Here's a closer look. I wrap the yarn around the hook, then put the hook through the hole in the chain. Then I bring the first loop through the two other loops. Wrap through the hole, loop again, three loops, now one loop. If you still quite don't understand, just keep watching and mimicking my moves until you're able to do this stitch. If you already know how to do this stitch, you could just skip ahead. Once you've reached the end of your chain, you're going to do the exact same stitch back. But this time you're going to go into the stitches hole and not the chain hole. Again, just mimic what I do. to continue going back and forth with this stitch until it's long enough to cover your mid breast and just under your ribs or however long you prefer. I want mine to be a small crop top so this is the length where I stopped and began a new step. The new step is simple. Usually you would crochet all the way to the end like so but from now on you're going to skip that last stitch every time you reach the corner. This is going to create more of a triangle shape than the square shape. See how it's already beginning to slope inward? That's exactly what you want. Eventually it's going to get smaller and smaller towards the top and that's exactly what you want for a halter top. See how every time I skip the last stitch it creates more of a triangle shape? That's perfect. And you just continue this step until you've reached your desired look and length. Currently I feel like my top is too short so I'm going to continue making my way towards the top. When you lay it down it should look something like this. And for the finishing touches, I just crocheted all around the top to make everything look even. And now it's time to add the straps. I simply locate where I want my strap to be and create a chain. And it's usually a chain of 40 for around my neck. When I've reached my desired length, I just cut the yarn, grab my hook, and pull the excess yarn through the loop. That is the proper way of securing your chain. Then after I'm done with my first strap, I go on to where I want my second strap to be and grab my yarn. And then wedge my yarn into the stitch where I want my chain to be by pulling it through with my hook. Then I secure its position by creating a knot. After I'm done knotting or double knotting, I create a slip knot using that yarn. Through that slip knot, I created yet another chain of 40. And then repeat the process for the bottom straps, but creating a chain of 50 or 60 instead of 40. And this is my finished styled product. I like halter tops because they remind me of 90s fashion. And I never have to worry about showing too much cleavage. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to create your own fabulous halter top. And if I move too fast for you, please watch my crocheting for beginners video I will link down below. Have a great time crocheting. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye!